Hello everybody, and welcome to a new series called Surfer BRG's Retro Review. Right now, I decided to take up a thing, try reviewing games now, because I see several YouTube fanatics review games and video games, so this is going to be the beginning of a new series, and this episode right now is going to be a retro review. Now, to be honest, I had like a whole closet stash of game systems, and you know, I said, okay, why don't I put it into good use? So, heck, why not do a review right now? Because I'm bored out of heck of mine, try to get something good, so, what heck. First game system we're going to be reviewing about is, we're reviewing the Super Famicom. Now, what I, I do not know a lot about all game systems, but from what I read, this was a game system that was a Super Nintendo version. It kind of did re feature a bunch of the Super Nintendo US, but it was kind of a Japan version release. So basically, it still had, you know, it's usual, like it's C on and off, eject, the reset. But the other thing why I'm going to review is this. They actually did have some, because to be honest, this actually did have some games that, um, I just want to tell you this, that actually did have some games that was never that were never released in the US. Now, what I have to say so far is um, that when I first got this, I got this at some store for like 30 bucks because I, back then when I was cruising around Oahu, I went to this uh, collector shop and you know, they sell any rare game system for a cheap price and I was able to score the whole complete thing with uh, for 30 bucks, so it was pretty much a good deal. So it worked. So right now, First of all, I'm going to hook this thing up and start to review it. Alright everybody, I was able to hook it up that quick because I practiced this thing up. So right now, I do not have every game, but I only have a few games to it. So, I have a total of six games, so let's see what we should start with. And the thing, the one thing I would want to say about this game just soon is, the only complaint I had about this game system was everything was in Japanese, so it was kind of hard to understand what you're reading and stuff. So, let's see what the first game we'll try is. I don't have very many games, so I might just review a few of them or all of them, maybe. How about, as a starters, Dragon Ball Z 3. Now, this actually, I want to just explain really quick that this thing was actually, I saw this at a store for like, um, 70 bucks, but I was luck. I was pretty lucky because I went to this other store in Oahu and they had the same game except for I would score it a lot cheaper. I got it for 10 bucks, so let's pop this game in. Now, first, I don't know what to say, so I'm going to be narrating while playing it, but. making sure I had the controller right now. It's kind of Japanese, so, but I did remember playing it, so, here do story mode, here do story mode, but usually I would do the one player versus computer because, I don't know what to say except graphics, they did a good job making some of the graphics at first, but, from my experience, looks like it's pretty good, so, you know, this has been around on a lot of games, you could just hit play any character and choose a random one. Let's see who I want to beat up really badly. Uh, whatever. I see um There we go. So it's pretty much in Japanese. So it's like you control it a little awkward, like you have to press one button to go up in the air, one to like choose your power up. And it's pretty much pretty much a bunch of mashing and stuff. And you can also do this, which they made they made the power really easy. They made it really easy to charge and stuff. So basically
Alright, that's enough for this game. Okay, here we have Gundam F91. Right now, it was... First, you start out as Battle Grid. You start in this little grid. And it's like, basically, you just... Now, see, I just... Now, this... Now, in the battle area, this is what the battle sequence was like. It was kind of a little weird. But, you can have a choice between here using a lightsaber or the gun. You use the machine gun, it's... Usually, it misses. And you could always use the laser, which works pretty good. The gun usually works pretty good. And you can also choose from the lightsaber, is how it really works. That, that means I just damage them, too. So now this means when the enemy attacks me. They either damage me or they missed. So basically, it's just where you just basically it's just one where it shows battle grid and stuff, battle grid and um, you know, pretty much shoot. So that's pretty much all. Okay, here we have one more game I'm going to do really quickly, and let's see, Street Fighter Turbo. It's been popular, it's same as the U.S. version, except. Every, most of the stuff's in Japanese, except why they mix up the characters' names? Like, this should be M. Bison, this should be Balrog, and this should be Vega. Why do they mix up names? Everyone else is still fine. So it's basically just one of those famous 2D fighters. So it's basically you're just mashing a bunch of buttons and stuff. You know, next thing you know, you just kill, it gives the thing saying you win. You win. And all that. So that's how this game looks. Actually, Street Fighter on this. So that's pretty much this game. So, well, that's pretty much all I have to say right now. But, be honest, this was a really good game system. It's just the one thing was, well, like, there's only a few pros and cons. The only con that I have to be honest is the only con I have is everything's in Japanese and stuff but the pro is they really had some good games that um were never released in the US so that's pretty much all I have to say right now so this has been Surfer BRG's Retro Review take care <laughs>